Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Naim Invest. You guys know I changed my channel name to Own Damn Research because that's the main message. You gotta do your own damn research to know what you buy. Now, guys, I've been requested so many times to do daily videos on LKCO, Torchlight Energy Resources, and Zomedica. And I have to say, if I do daily videos, I'm just gonna be talking about the same thing. But a lot of people kept just, you know, asking for daily videos. They want daily news. They want daily updates. They love these videos. And I'm like, you know what? If you love these videos, why not? You know, I have the time to make these videos daily, so I'll try my best. So what I'm planning on doing is every day making a LKCO Torchlight Energy Resources Zomedica daily update video. Now, if I miss out one of these stocks, I'll make an update on one of these stocks. So my plan now is to make three videos a day. That is my plan. So 8 a.m. early morning videos is going to be your update on either LKCO, Torchlight Energy Resources or Zomedica or all three. In today's video, we're going to be doing LKCO and Torchlight Energy Resources. And then the next video could be any stock. It might be LKCO, Torch or Zomedica again, but it will be with the latest catalyst that just dropped straight after my last video. And with, um, you know, the video after that, I'll make something completely different again. Like, that's what my plan is now. So let's see how it goes. Hit that subscribe button if you're hyped, guys, because you guys kept asking for it, for this. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do what you guys want because, you know, other channels out there, obviously, they don't like doing stuff like this, but I want to do that. Why not? So let's see. I might make three videos a day. I'm going to try my best. Let's see how it goes. So once again, hit that subscribe button, guys. Turn on the notification bell. Hit that like button. And also, guys, hit get me 100 likes on this video. Can we get 100 likes on my last video as well? That'll mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you guys for the love and support. That's all I'm asking for. Just hit that like button. And obviously, if you don't like the video, hit that dislike button. And yeah, guys, um, one of the, once again, do your own damn research. None of this financial advice. You got to know what you hold. You know, uh, I'm giving you guys my own opinion, my own research, my own vigilance, my own take. Let's get started with LKCO. So, this is entertainment purposes only. Now, like I said, daily updates. So, LKCO, Lukong Technology. I am going to say this week, we might see 2 to $3. You know, we got the court motion. We know the partners and customers. We know who Lukong Technology work with. We know US institutions bought in. We know they had a closing offering not that long ago. We know DFA Investment bought more, bought more than 4 million shares recently. So many good things I just said there. Everything was bullish. Nothing there was bearish. Now it's about the judge's response. And on top of that, how the shareholders and how the stock market reacts to that court motion we just had. So... I know we ain't going to get judge response straight away. Look, the court motion for Lukong Technology just dropped like, you know, a couple of days ago, April 2nd. You guys need to know the motion ain't going to come out straight away. It's going to take some time, maybe some weeks. With Xiaomi, you know, their motion came out in a week or two. And, you know, that was very good. The judge gave them preliminary injunction straight after the motion. It could happen with us. We might not see it on May 3rd. May 3rd is the judge's response deadline. We might get it in a few weeks. You never know. Um... But this week, I feel as if we might see 2 to $3, knowing that everything that was in the motion, it was all bullish news. So we might actually see 2 to $3, but just know whatever we hit, we're going to come back down to the $1 range. So in my opinion, if you are, you know, at a high average like me, the best thing will be sell when you're at gains or you make your money back. Put your limit sell on and buy back below two dollars i kept telling you guys it's going to be a pump and dump till the judge responds a lot of people are scared and i don't blame you it's your hard work and money you put into this stock so you know um you know you just want the best average and if i'm being honest the best average is below two dollars as of now so if you if your average is above one dollar ninety cents you might want to sell still you know try get it below one dollar fifty if you can i feel as if we're just going to go up and down up and down till the judge responds but if the judge gives us that preliminary injunction i feel as if as soon as he gives us that preliminary injunction we won't be seeing one dollar again in our lives we won't be seeing two dollars three dollars four dollars i feel as if the new support line is going to try hold above five dollars and then more institutions are going to buy in more ev companies are going to come in more um you know more partners are going to come in more money is going to be put in you know it's going to get bigger and bigger and as it gets bigger we're going to get new support lines going up more closing offerings coming in as the price increases so i'm telling you now if we ever get a preliminary injunction boy oh boy it's game over we're going to go up so much but the best thing now is obviously getting that best average and you guys know april is always a bullish month with any stock april is always the month for stocks like it's the month where you would want to buy stocks and cryptos because you know april the history of stock market and crypto market with april you guys can look at yourself that's why i say do your own damn research 
is bullish everything goes up like nothing has a market crash in april april's the months where everything just heads up that's the one direction is heading not the band the bloody way up is heading with the stock market the money way all right it's heading up um to the moon and beyond um but yeah that's the lkc update i'm expecting some nice prices this week we're going to be seeing how the shareholders react um today and we're also going to be seeing you know new investors hopefully come in it could be happening but yeah that's my little update on Tesla energy i mean uh look on technology today let's actually move on to Tesla energy resources talking about that now and let's give you guys my daily update on that remember zomedica is not added onto today's list but it will be hopefully soon and um, this is a start of something new so i'm going to see if i can keep it up with daily updates Tesla energy resources you know in the last six weeks, we were in the market crash, market crash, market crash. The fundamentals were still the same. The catalyst was still the same. The whole market just kept bleeding. Torchlight Energy Resources had a strong support line above $2, but it just kept bleeding. So it pushed it below $2. And I'm going to be honest, this is going to go above $2 this week. That's my price prediction for this week. It's going to go back above $2. And if, even if it doesn't, I still won't be scared. This stock is going to be, this, this is the start of something big. And if you guys buy a lot below two dollars i'm telling you now this is going to easily recover above two dollars now is the time to buy in cheap and remember if you own torchlight energy resources you get them special dividends payout special dividends payout and if you own meta materials the company they are merging with yes the merge is approved by meta materials the merge is happening the ceo of meta materials keeps saying the merge is happening if you own shares of that you get extra shares for holding it every one share of meta material you own that turns into three shares so that's very big as well so like i said I'm not scared for Torchlight Energy Resources. Like, there's nothing in the way. It's just delays, obviously, because we're in a pandemic. Pandemic makes, you know, life hard for companies. It makes it longer. It makes, you know, with this pandemic, we learn a lot of different things. We learn a lot of new things in life. We learn, you know, a lot of different things. A lot of companies learn a lot of different things. We, you know, our day-to-day -day life changed over this pandemic. So a lot of companies got affected in either a good way, bad way. But... I just want to say, you know, oil was going up. That's when Torchlight Energy Resources was selling, selling their oil and gas assets to pay our special dividends. And Metamaterials technology is insane. That's the company we're merging with. Torchlight Energy Resources is merging with Metamaterials. TRCH, ticker symbol, is going to be changing to MMAT, Metamaterials. And we're going to be holding technology. And Metamaterials are going to be NASDAQ compliant as soon as this merge happens and that's why this merge is even happening in the first place i'm very bullish on metamaterials because i know the future of ev technology and everything um and metamaterials is a, playing a big part in these sectors they also have research employees that work in the same building as tesla now we might be seeing them partnering making equipment for tesla you never know because metamaterials did borrow 10 million dollars from torchlight energy resources like last month so there's a lot of good things coming out with metamaterials and torchlight energy resources and i just can't wait for this merge and I'm expecting if we're in a bullish market this week, like a very good market this week, I'm expecting Torchlight Energy Resources to be them stocks that easily goes above two dollars this week. And you know, even if it goes up and down, who really cares? You know, the merge is happening 100 percent The special dividends gonna be paid out. So the more shares you buy, the more special dividends you get. And take that as a bonus money to come, you know. You're selling your shares, that's your money for selling your shares. When you sell your shares, you get money from selling your shares. There's gonna come you know a point in your life is going to be you know when you sell your shares you're going to get money from selling your shares that's when you sell your shares on top of that you're getting a f you're getting bonus money special dividends you know how good that is and i'm expecting three to four dollars a share it might be lower it might be higher that's just my prediction on this you know knowing that this started selling when oil and gas was going up so i'm very bullish on these two stocks i didn't add zomedica here i can't lie sorry about that um because i made plenty of videos on zomedica i realized in the last week but it's a new week and a new thing i'm trying to add to the channel let's see if i can do three videos a week if i don't do three videos a week i'll do two videos a week it'll you know it'll take some time but it's a work in progress so um bear with me if i don't upload once again three videos a week i'll make sure i, I meant three videos a day i'll make sure i upload two videos a day so that's your daily updates for torchlight engine resources and lukong technology like you guys been asking for daily updates now tomorrow i'll obviously do a daily update and if obviously any catalyst news comes out, obviously I'll make a video on top of that straight away because that's what I do. I love updating you guys straight away. And obviously, like I say, come join the free Discord where we talk about the stock market, crypto market, everything you guys need to know. And it's completely free. And, you know, we even called out BTT Torrent two days ago as a video. And if you bought then non-financial advice, you would have been up more than 50% just today. You know how much gains that is? Say you put more than, you know, 10,000 pounds in bloody oh you'll be at nice gains if you did like say how much money you put in you'll be at so much gains man um you just have to know that they're penny stocks but they have just huge potential i feel as if with 
LKCO and Torchland Energy Resources, if things go well with the court case in LKCO, these two stocks are going to easily go double digits. Hence why I'm very bullish on them both. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for the love and support. And I'm not sure when I'll be uploading next, but I'll make sure I try my best to upload, um, obviously, soon enough. And yeah, um, hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.